Hello, welcome back to another video. This is lab 8-4 uses pivot tables to analyze data from an XBRL database. So for this lab, we're going to go ahead and open up Excel and I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to, oh sorry, actually I'm going to go to data, get data from database and from Microsoft Access Database. Okay, and what I'll do here is I'm actually gonna select the XBRL subset, which I've already pre-downloaded and unzipped from um, the files provided by the professor. I'm gonna go ahead and select import. And I will see um, some some of the tables showing up here um, in my subset. And I'm going to go ahead and select select multiple items so that I can um, select both entity and filing. And then I'm going to click OK. Oh, I'm going to be allowed to load. Okay, so I'm going to select the carrot for load and I'm going to do load to. And then I will select the pivot table report here and then I will upload to an existing worksheet and I'm going to allow that and then say okay. It's going to take a while for the data to load, but once it loads, I'm going to place name in the rows and create a slicer, but I'll come back. Oh, it's loading. Okay. No, I like to move my slicer around so that I can have better, hold on, there we go, so that I can view it better. Allow me to bring my slicer back. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to identify how many different iterations there are within one type of financial statement. So we're going to specifically put the name in the column. Oh, one second. Sorry, we're going to put, sorry, I was looking at the wrong stuff there. Um, we're going to put the name in the rows right here and then i'm going to create a slicer for filer category to filter for large accelerated filers and to do that i'm going to go to insert slicer and i want it for the filer category right here and i'm going to hit okay there we go So what this slicer does just allows you to kind of select the filer category and it will show um, each of the ones listed for each of the categories. So for the non-accelerated filer, we have the American, uh, one of them would be the American Realty Capital Global Trust Incorporated. So this slicer is pretty interesting. So I'm going to return to Excel to import the aspect table from the data. So to do this, I'm going to go to yeah, open a new sheet, and then I'm going to go to data, get data from, from database, from Microsoft Access database. Um, once again, we're using the same file. And this time, I'm going to load the aspect table. So I'm going to go ahead and select aspect, load to. We want a pivot table report. And then okay, I'm going to load it into an existing worksheet, specifically this one. And I'm going to add this data to the data model and click OK. 
It will take a little while for the data to load. But once it loads, I'm going to place name in the rows. So here it is. I have name, and I'm going to go ahead and oh, let me move this up a little. Okay, so I went ahead and did that again since my rose wasn't showing up. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add the name field to the row field. Okay, so, and this is going to create a distinct list of all the element names included in the aspect table. So to filter for the names that contain cache, click the filter button which is, I'm gonna move this out of my way. Um, all right, so right, oh. Hold on, let me try to get my filter button. So I've gone ahead and decreased my, or zoomed out a little just to have a better view of my filter button. And I'm going to select label values. label filters and contains and I'm going to type in the word cache and click okay so now we see all of the row labels that contain the word cache so based on this massive massive amount of tags um, we may decide to be more specific with the query, so we can refine the query or the pivot table to show only tags that begin with the word cache. Um, so we can do this by label filters begins with the word cache. Click OK. And now all of these will begin with the word cache. So this is the end of lab 8-4 for using pivot tables to analyze data from an XBRL database. Thanks for watching.